Hey everyone, so in today's video I wanted to collect a bunch of the glass skin primers on the market right now and do a huge video about the best and the worst glass skin primers out there. I have tried out seven different glass skin primers for you guys today. They all claim to give the skin a very dewy and glassy appearance to the skin. Yes, we are going to be saying glassy quite a bit in this video and I apologize in advance. So let's just jump right in because we have a lot to talk about. Before we talk about the products themselves, how I decided to do the demos in this video. So not only am I showing you footage of how these primers look on the skin without foundation on, just so you can get an idea of how these look on their own and their true finish, but I also wanted to show you how these look with foundation applied over them. So the foundation I used is the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation. It has a really middle of the road finish, not too matte and not too dewy. So I hope the demos end up being really helpful. But first let's talk about a primer that I have seen so many people talk about and I really I wasn't sure if it was just because the packaging is pretty cute. It is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. So this retails for $32 and you get one fluid ounce of product in here. And I have just been seeing so many pictures of this product all over Instagram. And they say that this is going to give you an ultra dewy look and also sort of smooth the skin's appearance. Something that I find really unique about this serum in general, you've probably been seeing pictures of the pipette of the product itself. There are these little pink bubbles of product. And I assume that it is like the diamond powder that they say is present in this product. The texture itself is definitely a serum. It feels more like, you know, a hyaluronic acid serum. It's not incredibly thick. It's actually quite thin and it absorbs quite quickly as well and there's a very subtle sort of glow to your skin it's definitely not a sheen I don't think it necessarily translates as like a pearlized makeup product which I do like one of the main ingredients is glycerin and it definitely gives me that sort of like humectant sealing in all of the moisture feel when you apply it out onto the skin it really absorbs immediately because it's so thin and serum like and again it just leaves the skin with a very soft natural glow. It doesn't translate necessarily as a glowy primer in my opinion. It's very subtle, but it is there. If you were to put this product out on your hand, you probably wouldn't notice much at all. But I do notice, especially when seeing foundation layered on top of this product, it does give you that little bit of a subtle glow under your foundation. It definitely reads more as a lit from within glow. So if you are wearing, say, a more dewy foundation and you were to apply this under it, though I I do think this is going to kind of smooth the skin and feel nice to apply. I don't think that you're necessarily going to see a huge difference. For me personally, I saw the difference because I went with, again, more of like a skin-like natural finish foundation. But if I'm wearing a more dewy BB cream, say, this isn't going to add any extra dew or gloss or glow. Overall, I actually really like this on its own. Own. I think it's really pretty to kind of give your skin a little bit of extra something. Definitely has sort of like a je ne sais quoi quality about it. It just looks a little bit fresh. I think it's one of those things that you're going to notice and I don't think that other people are necessarily going to notice it a lot. It's just a very subtle product and I don't think that that's a bad thing. I actually imagine this being a really good makeup product for those of you with oily skin or combination skin that want just a little bit of glow and a little bit of extra sheen to the skin, but you don't want anything super dewy, super glossy. But if you have more dry skin and you're really looking for something to give you that radiance and your skin typically doesn't have it, I think that you want something with a little bit more glow. Speaking of a little bit more glow, we have the Revolution Glass Skin Primer. You guys really Really wanted me to try out this product. It has glass skin in the name, so I definitely had high expectations for this one. It retails for $12 and you get 0.87 ounces of product in here. It is by far the most cheap product that we're talking about today. And they mention again that you could wear this on its own or you could put foundation on top of it. So this texture is incredibly unique, very emollient, incredibly emollient. But you can see that it's a gel texture that kind of immediately melts onto the skin as you start to blend it. It has some incredible glossiness to it, probably the most glossiness out of any of the products that we're talking about today. 
but it also sort of has a slippy quality to it. I definitely see this texture as being one that is going to be polarizing. I think some people are really going to like it, how glossy it is, how it gives the skin a good slip, but I definitely see some people not appreciating the formula, especially if you have more oily skin, but you can't really argue with the fact that it will definitely give you that ultra ultra glass finish for me i think the texture of the product does feel a little bit unrefined like i do think it could be a little bit less heavy not quite as thick also does have a pretty strong fragrance which i'm not a fan of i don't really notice it as i continue to wear the product but it is something that when i pump out the product and apply it to my face i definitely notice it so as for the finish and the application this is again by far one of the glossiest glossiest primers out there that i have ever tried when you apply to the skin because it has that slip it's not just a gloss product it's not going to work against you when you go to apply it on the skin it really smooths over the skin in a very even and easy way but it definitely feels a little bit heavier i think less is definitely more with this product you don't need a lot with one pump of product and unfortunately the pump you can't really control it it's going to give you way more product than you actually need for your entire face but i really like the glide that this gives my foundation especially if i went in with a really matte foundation i think that a product like this would be really good as a mix in for other products especially if you have combination skin and you find that some of your foundations you know one time in the month they look too matte other times of the month they look too dewy if you could kind of find a middle of the road foundation and use a product like this to kind of give it that extra glow i see this product being really useful for that this is a very dewy primer so i think that it can be easy to go overboard with it if you're not careful if you apply too much it can start to feel unrefined and kind of heavy on the skin but it really shows through a foundation it's going to give you that glassy look no matter what foundation you use with it so overall i actually think that this is a really good budget buy if you want to play with the glass skin trend but you don't want to invest a lot of money in a product i think that this would work really well up next we have the cover effects gripping primer it retails for 38 dollars and you get one fluid ounce and they mentioned that this is a more jelly primer that is going to give you a really glass like skin effect but the product itself is really going to grip onto foundation and make it last all day so a lot of you wanted to know how this product actually works. I absolutely feel like this texture is very unique. It definitely reminds me of something like the J1 Jelly Pack, if you guys are familiar with that product. Unfortunately, that one does break me out, so I do not use that. But I was interested in seeing how this product would give me a really glassy finish while also really holding on to my foundation. Those two things in combination really sounded like the perfect pairing. So as I mentioned before, this definitely has a more jelly texture to it it's not incredibly thick it doesn't feel like a heavy jelly it does quite immediately go tacky and sticky on the skin and that's the sort of gripping quality that supposedly makes your foundation last a lot longer with this product you can see when you apply it to the skin that you can't really drag the product across the face you really have to sort of press it and tap it into the skin it's it sticky quite quickly but it does leave you with a nice subtle sheen and it's not a pearlized sheen this is again a completely completely clear jelly product. It really is like a subtle glassy glow to the skin, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a glass skin finish in my opinion. I don't think that this product is emollient enough to give that look to the skin. And when you apply foundation over it, you do have to be more careful because this is so sticky. You really have to make sure that you're watching where you apply the product because there is a little bit more resistance with this product because it does kind of grip onto foundation. Even though the glassiness of your skin is a little bit more subtle, I definitely do see it through foundation. But overall for me, this feels way more like a product to help extend the wear of your foundation rather than to give you a really glassy look to your skin. So if I want on a glossy skin I probably wouldn't go with this and to be honest with more of these sort of gripping primers to me they do sort of have an irritating quality to them whether it's a surfactant this actually uses kind of like a surfactant product or if it uses something like denatured alcohol as a whole these primers all sort of feel a little bit irritating to me at least with my skin even though I do think this does extend the wear of my foundation it's not my absolute favorite but I do think that there is a primer from cover effects that gives you a little bit more of that glassy glow. 
and that is the Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. It also retails for $38. You, you get a full fluid ounce of product with this. And to me, this actually imparts that really glassy, glowy skin look. It also has some nice beneficial ingredients to it, like squalane. You guys know that I'm a big fan of squalane. It also has hyaluronic acid. So this texture actually reminds me quite a bit of the texture from Revolution. It has more of that gel texture, but this is less thick than the Revolution. It's definitely quite thin, so definitely a different consistency from the Revolution, but the way it actually looks on the skin is quite similar. You can see it gives you quite a bit of dew. This to me feels like a more refined glass skin look. You're getting the glassiness, but the texture is thinner and it feels a little bit more comfortable on the skin. When you apply it to the skin, it really glides over, but it doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't feel heavy. To me, this really feels like a nourishing sort of product. Definitely still more geared towards dry skin, but as a whole, it's just more of a pleasure to apply to the skin, and yet it will still give you that ultra glassy sheen to your face. You could definitely just apply this to the cheeks and put foundation over it. I think a lot of you will really like the way that your foundation looks. You can see it really shines through and makes an impact, and it also just feels nice on the skin it doesn't feel heavy and it actually feels like it's kind of nourishing the skin in a way it almost has a sort of softening quality to the skin and by the way this actually does have coconut alkanes it might have the possibility to be comedogenic but I haven't had any issues with it this just gives you that really 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 dewy finish that I think a lot of you are looking for and I love that it's not pearlized it really just looks like dewy skin overall I can definitely tell that this is a more expensive formulation it feels more expensive on the skin it gives you that really glassy look while being more refined and the glow definitely lasts throughout the day if you do lean more oily again you could just put it on the cheeks but I still think that a really really glassy primer like this is probably not the way that you want to go. Next up, we have a product that I have already raved about many times on my channel, which is the Glossier Future Dew. It retails for $24 and you get one fluid ounce of product in here. So Glossier sort of says that this is going to give you a really dewy and glossy look to your skin, but it's formulated more as a skincare product. So that is one thing that makes this product, I think, different than the other products we're talking about today. This actually does have squalane in it as well. And this is described as an oil serum hybrid. And basically what this product is, it's an emulsion. So they've taken some oils and other ingredients and emulsified them in a way that this has become a serum. And I love that they were able to create a formula that didn't feel heavy on the skin. It gives the skin such a glossy and fresh finish. This actually has sort of a pinky tinge to it, like it's almost been slightly pearlized, but once it's been applied to the skin, it just looks like that glow is coming from in your skin, like you just got done your skincare routine, but it's amped up a bit. You can definitely get a super glassy finish with this product. It's definitely something that I would wear on its own or over a foundation. You can definitely use it both ways. I actually put my sister onto this and she always uses it as her primer now because it really just gives you that really dewy and fresh look that lasts, but it doesn't look oily or unflattering on the skin. I actually did a video comparing this to the MAC strobe cream because I wanted to test out if this actually gives you a dewy finish longer than your typical pearlized primer. And I definitely saw that at the end of the day, the side with the Glossier had way more dew and my foundation looked better. Like it looked refreshed, whereas on the other side, my foundation didn't look as good. It had kind of gone a little bit dry on me. I mean, overall, you guys know I'm a Glossier rep, but I honestly feel like this has become like my favorite Glossier product ever, like my favorite one they've ever created. They were able to create a really glossy and glowy primer, had good skincare ingredients. The glossiness to your skin actually lasts without it feeling heavy or breaking up your foundation. But we do still have some other primers to talk about. You guys really wanted me to try this one. I had never heard of this brand. It's called VDL. It's actually a Korean brand. Apparently this is kind of like a cult favorite product. It's their Lumi Layer Primer and it advertises itself as giving you that really glassy skin look. This to me is like a thin lotion texture, but it's been pearlized and they say that they they have like their famous pearls that they put in all of their products. And I will say that the pearl in their products is incredibly refined. I don't know, I can always tell when the pearl is kind of like frosty 
and a little bit thick in a formula. And I like that the texture of the product is thin. It really softens the skin, it's moisturizing, but it's not a heavy product. And it actually has more of like a white pearly base to it as you saw before. So when I apply it to my skin, I kind of notice that it is a little bit whiter than it was before. So I think if you have deeper skin, you wouldn't want to wear this product on its own. But just wearing it alone, I actually really like the way it makes my skin look. I actually feel like really pretty. I feel like the quality of my skin looks better. It does have very, very tiny sparkles. Like occasionally I will see one or two on my face. I don't know why they did that. And when I put the product out on my hand, you can't really see it. It's not a reason I would stay away from this primer though. When you apply foundation over it, I actually really like the way it looks too. It gives you that more subtle glassy look, but it is more subtle and it does lean a little bit more pearlized. It doesn't necessarily translate as like a very natural do. I do sort of see that it's a pearlized finish. I think if you like Asian skincare, you like the way it feels, how it tends to be more lightweight. You can definitely see this as being something that people would just wear on its own. They like the way it feels, they like the way it makes their skin look. But applying foundation over it, this tends to be a little bit more natural. So I don't think that you get the same effect as the product completely alone on the skin. I do also acknowledge that not everyone wears foundation. Some people just wear concealer. If you're just gonna wear concealer and wear a primer, I do really like the formula. But lastly, we have another highly requested primer to review, which is the NYX High Glass Primer. This was one of the most requested. And listen, I'm absolutely happy to do that, but this was $17. When did NYX get so expensive? And I mean, most of these primers are more expensive than this one, but this is actually another pearlized sort of makeup base, but it advertises itself as giving you a really glassy skin base. I mean, in all of the advertising, it says that it's going to give you Korean glass skin. There are three different shades to this. So I personally have the shade Moonbeam. It immediately started to remind me a lot of the VDL. I think the pearls are a little bit less refined than the VDL, but this doesn't have any of those like random sparkles that I'll sometimes see on my skin, but the texture is still very thin, really easy to apply to the skin, feels like a lightweight lotion. And on its own, I think it also looks good on the skin. It's not going to highlight any texture so that you feel like you have to put a foundation over it, if that makes sense. That sometimes is the case. On its own, I still think that it looks really pretty. It definitely gives you that sort of lit from within glow, just like the VDL did but it's just amped up a little bit. And once I actually apply foundation over it, I can't really notice a difference between this and the VDL. If anything, I think this gives me just even more glow, just a hint more. It sort of catches the light in more places than the VDL. And honestly, I don't really read this as a pearlized product once I put foundation on top of it. It just kind of looks like a natural sheen. It almost reminds me of something like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Definitely has that like lit from within glow once you put foundation over it. It's a good option for those of you that prefer more of a lotion texture rather than a serum texture or a gel texture. Overall, if you're looking for something to sort of save your money and you wanted to go with a lotion texture, I would honestly just recommend going with the high glass over the VDL. I'll have all of these products linked down below for you guys. By the way, if you found these demos helpful, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Overall, there are a lot of glass skin primers out there. There are a lot of options. Just helped that this video was helpful and finding a formulation that's going to get along with you. I would love for you to subscribe if you found the video enjoyable and I will hopefully see you in my next one.